for those of you just uh, tuning in. My name is Mr. Leo. I'm an art teacher here in Mira Mesa, and I'm a studio artist. Uh, today, we're just going to draw. We're going to draw something really fun. Uh, we're going to need our pencil, our marker, and an eraser if you have one. And of course, a piece of paper to draw on. And uh, these uh, drawing practices are really good because then it helps with fine motor skills and it gets our dexterity uh, up. If you wanted to be an artist, this will help your proportions earlier because I think that's like what, uh, what a lot of young artists uh, have trouble with in the, in the beginning. But, um, uh, but that's why we got to practice today and then eventually we'll get better at it. So let's move on to our paper here and we'll get going. Let's get our pencils out, you guys. Hey, Eric, <laughs> good to have you. Let's get our pencils out, you guys. Hey, Eric, <laughs> good to have you. Let's get our pencils. And let's go from the center and we'll move a little up top. We will sketch out a circle. And when we're sketching, we want to draw lightly first. The only reason I'm giving it more pressure is so you guys could see. And sketching is really good because you can't really make a mistake in sketching. Do you see all these lines I made in the beginning? Those aren't mistakes. Those are me trying to find my lines. So now I found the lines I wanted because I shaped it out. So first, we have a nice circle. Then we're going to make a... How about let's make a triangle? But we'll start the triangle from the center here. And we'll go out like this. And then from that point again, we'll bring out that angle down, right? But I want the bottom of the triangle to be somewhat curved. So it's like a cone rather than a, than a triangle. We're just using simple shapes first and they'll, they'll turn into things, you'll see. Now I want you guys to draw parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that are next to each other and they never touch. So we will make some parallel lines going down this direction and we'll do another two and you could use points of references. So where this triangle meets the circle, we can go down and that's the center of these two lines. We'll do it for this uh, section too. You see this point? When we go down, that's going to be the center of these two parallel lines as well. See? Just like that. Easy, right? Okay. I want you guys to do the same for the left and right side. So we're going to make some parallel lines going out of the triangle and we'll do so on this side as well. So I really like the shape we have right now. And our shape will need feet. But for our feet, we're just going to make an oval at an angle, okay? So it's at a slight angle as opposed to just uh, horizontal. So this is at an angle. And we'll do another oval on the other side. So see if it, you, you, it doesn't matter if you connect it because we're gonna, we're gonna draw out the lines we need with our marker afterwards. So let's make small ovals on either side of it. 
am I gonna do the videos on spring break? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I haven't thought that far. But I've been having fun drawing with you guys. I'm really happy you guys are here with me. And I really like seeing you guys uh, share your, your artwork. I really love it when you guys color it. It looks great. So for the hands, we'll just make a circle for the hands, you guys. Circle for the hands. So artists use simple shapes to start off with. And then we could put the detail afterwards. I think we have a pretty nice uh, character here. Now, let's make a rectangle right here. It's, uh, it's a little below the circle, right? And it takes up almost half of the circle or the face. But we're just throwing a rectangle right there. Now let's draw some lines on either side of these corners. And I want you guys to just kind of bring it out to the to the um, to the end of the circle here. So just some diagonal lines. And if you make those diagonal lines here curve like that, it'll feel like it's going around the shape. So it gives it form. Pretty important. All right, now I want to give it some eyes. I'm gonna put some curved eyes like so. And um, I, th I think for fun, I'm gonna turn this person into a bunny. So I want you guys to make a circle for a tail down below right here. So that's going to be its cotton tail. And then what goes on top if it's a bunny? Very characteristic. The ears, you guys, the ears, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's a nurse or a doctor. So we're gonna, um, that's the theme for today. We're, we're going to draw our essential workers. And this curve here for the ears is just an oval, if you think about it. It's an oval at an angle going towards the circle, the center of the circle. And we wanna do the same for the inside of the ears but it's thinner. So let's go ahead and do that. Thinner circles, or a circle, sorry, ovals inside of the ear, just like that. So this is a nurse bunny. And I'm gonna put a little uh, pocket protector here. So this is just a rectangle. And you can put a little pen if you want. And a curve. There. That's our. That's uh, the extent of our sketch. And this is just our first sketch of three. So if you guys are coming in a little late, we have three more drawings. So let's put away our pencils. Let's get our marking tool. It could either be a Sharpie or I, I really like my ink pen. We could also use a Crayola marker if you want. I've seen some, uh, some of you use crayons. I think, I think that's pretty cool. The marks, the marks then become all waxy. So I'm going to start from the ear. I'm going to go around like so. So this is our nurse bunny. Go around our nurse's head, around all the way to the 
other ear. Just like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and put those curved eyes. Let's make these lines on going towards the rectangle shape. And let's go ahead then draw the rectangles shape. Because this bunny is wearing a mask for protection. And let's draw this other ear. And then the top of the head. And let's draw the inside of the ears too. Do that other one. Okay. That looks pretty good. I know we didn't sketch it, but I want you guys to draw some triangles down below so, so our nurse bunny has a collar. So just two triangles will look like uh, the collar of the doctor's shirt. Now let's do our, uh, oh sorry, our nurses, our nurse bunny's uh, body. So from from the triangle, we'll go down towards the bunny's hands, and we're gonna go around the circle. And it's fine to put just like these little uh, nubs. We've done that before. And then we go down. the length of that line, down the triangle, and we could pass that uh, tail. And then let's go all the way across the bottom of the triangle. Let's go up around the arm. And we'll do the same for this hand. So we'll go around the circle, put little nubs. You could put five nubs, so it just shows hints of five fingers if you want. And then, there you go. Let's do the doctor's, the doctor, the nurse's pants. So let's get the pants going. Those are just the parallel lines going down, pretty straightforward but we got to do the feet here and I think I want to close this off so just like the curve we made on the bottom of the triangle here I want you guys to make a curve for our nurse's pants then let's make the oval of our nurse bunny's feet And let's put some, we'll put two lines, two curved lines to show some toes. One, two. And let's go ahead and do this tail. We, you could choose to make a circle for the tail, or you can kind of make it fluffy by making these curved lines as you go around that circle. See? So that is our nurse bunny and don't forget the pocket protector they need they need to write prescriptions and stuff <laughs> put put some things on the clipboard okay that will be our first drawing for today and today's theme is essential workers so this is our nurse bunny super essential keeps us healthy. We'll put that to the side. All right, let's make our next drawing. And I think I want to use those shapes again. We'll keep things really simple today. So from, let's get our pencils out again. From the center, we'll go up a little bit and then we'll draw our circle. So sketch first until you get the right shape you want 
and then you can draw a little a little darker with more pressure so you know what what shape you exactly want so I have my circle right there and from the center of the circle I want you guys to make a triangle going down so this is a practice of making these simple shaped characters we can make many characters using these simple shapes so that's our triangle just one diagonal line going down one way and another diagonal go line going the other way and then let's make a curvy bottom of our triangle and we're doing that so it gives it more form so it's not so flat so this is a cone it's a cone shape let's make our parallel lines for the legs so from this point over here we'll make two lines keeping this area in the center right so two lines here and then from this point we'll make two lines going down this way. And for the feet, we made some ovals, remember? And the ovals that are the ovals are at a slight angle. They aren't uh, straight horizontal. So let's get those ovals down on each feet. Okay, and for the arms, I want one arm to go up like that with two parallel lines, and then another one like this. And for the hands, remember, it's just a circle. So this is kind of like a repeat in the last thing we drew, except this will be, the details will be different. The structure is the same. Okay. So I guess, um, well, we should still have the mask on. <laughs> or no, actually, let's, let's not put the mask on for this character. For this character, right in the center, we're gonna make a triangle again, but this triangle is going to be right in the center and it's facing downwards. So let's make a small triangle right there. I then want you guys to make a line going down on that triangle. Okay. And we're going to make some eyes. So I want you guys to find this point, bring it up, and that's where we're going to put the eyes. So we're using this point as a point of reference. So from here, we'll go up a little and then make a circle, a small circle for our beady little eyes. And from this triangle, where the triangle meets the circle, we're going to go up. And then we're going to make some triangles here too. So from this point, we're going to go up and then make some triangles. I wonder if you guys can guess what animal this is. All right, from the bottom of the circle, we're going to make a square. And then from, from this point here, I want you guys to follow this bottom curve of the cone. We need a curved line going across. And we'll make another one. 
going across. Now let's make a circle right there. And then two very thin rectangles at an angle that meets towards the circle. So that looks like um, a string being tied together. So just so you guys could see, it's a circle and two rectangles facing towards the center, if you guys couldn't see that because it's very small. Now, we are going to give a little curve so on one side, so it looks like our cat is smiling. There. And we are also going to make uh, a cylinder so two parallel lines once more going vertically a curve on the bottom and then we're gonna make uh, an oval a very thin oval on the top so this is how we make a, a cylinder shape cylinder shapes like a, a can or I have one here, kind of like this, cylinder. And let's fr not forget the tail. So I'm going to make uh, a curved line going out this way from the bottom. And then I'm going to fill around our curved line, see? There. And I forgot this triangle within the triangles, you guys. That's very important. Triangles within the triangles. So all we use are super simple shapes to get this going, right? Uh, one last thing, I want you guys to make a line in the in between these two lines here from the circle. We go down and then below the arm, we make a line going down that way. And we'll do it for the opposite side as well. So a line in between, we go past the arms and then we make a uh, horizontal line out that way. That way, this looks like an apron, right? That's the extent of our sketching phase. So let's put away our pencils. Let's get our markers out. And I'm going to start with the ears, so I'm going to make this triangle and then the inner triangle. I'm going to close off the inner triangle, but not the outer ones, okay? The outer ones are going to follow the, the contour of the cat's circular head. Then it'll go up over this triangle. And let's go ahead and do the inside triangle since we're here. Okay, now let's continue this line. We'll go around, around the whole head, just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna make my triangle for the nose. Let's make the little beady circle eyes. And then the line going down our tiny triangle nose. And then curves on either on either side. So 
So that's a nice, that's a nice cat face. All right, let's go down the length of the triangle body. So let's go down, make this small line here. We'll follow the arm. Let's give it its little nubs, but we are going to make the cylinder shape and then continue the nubs. Let's draw out the cylinder. So this is supposed to be a can, so let's make it a little more can-like. Let's make a circle or a, let's make a, a round oval shape on the top. And then we will put a little label. So we want a little bit of a square so it looks like a label. So that's a, that's a can. It's a canned good. Okay. So let's bring the bottom of the arm, the line on the bottom of the arm. Let's go down the length of the body once more. And we can go all the way across the the bottom curved part of the cone here just like that okay we'll go up now we're gonna go around this line here and we should do it on the opposite side as well so we don't get confused right here so that's gonna be the apron Let's go around our cat's arm on the on this side. So let's go ahead and do that this way. Around the circle, make some nubs. One, two, three, four, five. Five nubs. And then let's bring this line back. There. Okay. Let's get this square down. And that's the the collar of the apron. And I th and let's let's get this uh, uh, string, the apron string. Make the circle. Then we'll bring this curve all the way across. We'll do it for the bottom parts of the string as well. Let's make sure it meets the circle. And don't forget those diagonal rectangles so it looks like it's tied. Let's get those legs down. Let's get those two parallel lines on either side. And I'm going to make a curve just like the one we made for a cone. See? Gives it shape. And let's go ahead and do this whole oval. We'll do it for the other side as well. All right. And let's get this tail down over right here. So it's just going to be the contour of the tail. We don't draw the line inside the tail. The line was just there like like a skeleton, so we can figure out uh, how to shape the tail. Okay, and you can choose whether to give our cat long sleeves or short sleeves. I think I want to give our cat some short sleeves, so I'm going to make a little curve here. So it looks like our cat's wearing a shirt underneath uh, its apron and I think I want to give our cat a collar so a collar is just a half circle down here okay so there so now it looks like my our cat grocery worker is wearing a shirt and let's not forget those little curves on the feet one two one two and that gives us um, that gives us little toes nice little toes this is our second drawing. Thanks to the grocery workers, they they keep they keep things stocked for us, and we don't um, we don't starve. So 
essential, very essential. I think we're ready for our third drawing. I'll keep this up for a second, just in case you guys are still drawing. So number two. And you guys could erase the lines later. Like my bunny, my bunny's lines are probably uh, dry. So I could go ahead and erase those now. So that's the beauty of sketching. It allows us to compose what's on the page before committing to draw it. So we can keep everything Nice and pristine. See, so my bunny doctor or my bunny nurse is looking, looking clean and healthy. But the only thing I forgot were the, the sleeves. Oh man. Nurse, doctor. very essential as well. Or nurse bunny, sorry. Nurse bunny. So this will be our final drawing for today, number three. And we will still be using the same simple shapes, okay? So right from the center, we'll move it up a little bit, and then that's where we'll draw a circle once more. So you guys should be pros at this now. This is gonna be our third drawing of essential of essential workers. Okay. Now, from the center of the circle, I'm gonna make a little point and we're gonna make our triangle. So two lines going down at an angle and we'll make another one on the other side except the bottom will be curved. So it's more of a cone, right? So we have two shapes right now, a circle and a cone. Now, from this point where the cone meets the circle, we'll go down and that'll tell us where we want to put our legs. And our legs are just two parallel lines going down. And we'll do it for the other side as well. We'll find this point, we'll go down, and that's two lines going down. For the feet, we have been making ovals at an angle, right? They're not straight. They are at an angle. So let's get those ovals down. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like the bunny. I like the bunny too. So we're going to do ovals for the other feet. Very simple shapes. Now let's do two Parallel arms going out to the side. And then we'll do circles for hands. Yeah, drawing does not need to be hard, right? Pretty simple, huh? So for this character, we're going to draw a an oval-shaped nose. See? Right on the top of the, the cone here. So let's get that oval down. Okay. 
And just like the cat before, we're gonna make a line going down from the center of this shape. <laughs> okay, now let's make a curve on either side. And from below the circle, we're also going to make a square. Ellen, yes, you got it right. <laughs> so from this point of where the cone and the circle meets, we'll go up a little, a little past the nose, the curve, the, um, the oval nose, and we're gonna draw our little beady eyes. And we'll do it for the, si the opposite side as well. See? So I just bring up my line up top, make two beady eyes. And dogs, our dog is gonna have nice floppy ears. So just like we made these uh, ovals for the feet, we're gonna make ovals at an angle for the ears. Hi guys, thanks for coming. All right. Thanks for uh, drawing with me today. So these are just ovals at an angle like that, right? You don't have to copy those lines, just the, just the shapes. So let's continue. I want you guys to make a line from in between these two lines down past the arms. And we're gonna go make that vertical line. And we'll do it for the opposite side as well. Just like that, see? But on below these uh, ver below these parallel lines, I want you guys to make a little circle. And over here, we're gonna make a line going across. and then a curve so it has a pocket just like that and we can't have a dog character without a tail so let's make a line first for the tail that's going to be the skeleton of it right and then we're going to draw around that first line so we know how to shape our tail. And our dog is gonna hold something. So let's make a line going across the circle where his hands are. And then we'll make a box or a square right there. I'll just be a square for now. Then let's put two lines in that square. One, two. Let's not forget the hat. So I want you guys to make a square on the top and then a really big oval that's gonna be its hat can you guys tell what profession this is Well, that's the extent of our sketching. Let's get our pens out, you guys. Our, our, marker, our markers, sorry. Okay. Let's start 
Let's start with the hat. Let's draw out this boxy shape, but let's curve the top. Let's go around the bottom for the hat. And I think I want my farmer's hat to have a little character. So I'm going to put a little, uh, a little triangle right there to make it appear like the hat is a little damaged, but that's okay. And then let's make this curve on the bottom, but we don't want to fully connect it. Let's just keep it open like that. Let's go ahead and draw the ear. So it's just like that. We don't have to connect it all the way. We just went around and left the line kind of facing the farmer's hat. Now let's go around the contour of the dog's head now, all the way, all the way across towards the other ear. And for this ear, We'll be doing the same thing. We just have an oval there so we know where to put the lines. But we're gonna we're not gonna connect it all the way. We're just gonna go around. See? And then back on the circle of the dog's head. There. Let's get this big oval nose of our of our pup here. Then the line going down from the center of the oval and then curves on either side. Now I'm going to draw the beady eyes. I think I'm going to color in this nose real quick. Give it more character. and then the eyes as well. Yeah, that's cute. Now let's draw in that square for the suspenders, or the overalls. Not sus suspenders, sorry, overalls. Let's get this line down here, go out that way. And let's go towards the length of the dog's body. But we're not going to go all the way past the arm. We're going to bring this line up. We're going to go around the arm so it feels like it's connected. We're going to go around the circle for the hand. And then this one's going to be a little different. We're just going to put some uh, wiggly lines right in the center. So it looks like, it looks like he's, he's grasping the tool. Yes, it's a farmer's dog, Zella. Good job. It's a it's a farmer dog. <laughs> they keep us uh, fed. So let's uh let's get this line over here, and we're keeping this connected, right there. And I think I want my farmer to have short sleeves, so I'll make a curve here. I'll bring this towards this circle here. And that's that. We'll make its pitchfork later. Let's do the same for the opposite side. We'll make a line going down. We'll go across towards the arm. Make, we'll go around the circle. We'll give it little nubs. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go towards the body, we'll go down, and let's put these lines in here so it looks like it's connected. You know, initially I wanted short sleeves, but I made it long here too. That's okay, I'll just color it in later. <laughs> let's go down the length of the cone on either side. Let's 
bring it down here but we're get this time we're not going to go all the way across we're going to go down these uh parallel lines here and we're going to keep it open see on each side let's make the ovals but let's follow this curve and put it on the bottom of the pants here so let's get that oval down And let's get the contour of the tail. Let's do the little details, the circle here for the overalls. And then it's, you know, yeah, I'm gonna put the little pocket, why not? And for the pitchfork, we're going to make a line on either side of what we just made. Then we'll just draw out these lines here. Okay, pitchfork. Now I gotta give my dog some sleeves, so I'm gonna go ahead and color my my doggy's sleeves and the inner shirt. And don't forget this curve below the head, so it has like a it, it's gonna be our collar right there. The last thing are curves for the toes. Two curves for the toes. There. And that is our third drawing for today. So our first drawing was our nurse bunny. Keeps us healthy. Our second drawing was our Grocery cat uh, keeps our goods accessible. And then our third drawing is our farmer dog who grows our food, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, we that's okay, Eric. We're we are done for today. Thank you guys for drawing with me. Um, we'll start again at 9 a.m. on Monday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Okay. Thanks, guys. Keep practicing. Bye.